this is the Obsbot Tiny 2 web camera. Now the audio you are hearing is actually coming from these two mics here. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on my monitor. Just attaches with magnets. So I've got it here. Let's go ahead and switch over to this webcam. All right, I've switched over to the webcam. Let me adjust the angle a little bit. And there we go. So now the audio you hear and the video you see, it's all coming from the Obsbot Tiny 2 webcam. I don't don't really need to talk about image or audio quality because I'm just going to let you see and hear and you can decide for yourself what you think. Let me go over a couple features that make this webcam unique. For one, you can do hand gestures like this. So if I hold up my hand, it recognizes that I want to be tracked. So now I can move around like this. It's going to follow me where I go. So if I'm a teacher or something in a classroom environment and I walk around, this is really nice. So for any filming where you move, you can do these hand gestures I can do it again and then it's going to stop tracking me now if I move I can go out of frame or whatever and then as you've seen I can manually adjust the angle on the webcam itself and to do that all I'm doing is moving the webcam head and wherever I move it to it's just going to stay like that it's nice how easy it is to move and adjust you can also do this which allows you to zoom in or zoom out really cool feature in my opinion so this way I can be looking at the webcam I can say ah, I want to punch in a little bit to just get my head I'm able to do that all with hand gestures as far as the mic audio goes I'm in a mostly quiet environment I do have my computer fan running but this does have noise cancellation built in so say for example I'm in a noisy environment where someone is shaving I'll turn on the razor and you do hear it for a while, but then the noise cancellation kicks in on the Obspot and you can't really hear this razor anymore, even though it is still on, it is still running. Let's go ahead and turn this off. It has really, really nice noise cancellations. So if you're in a noisy environment, this thing is quite amazing. Now I'm going to try to simulate different lighting environments. I do have some key lights here. I've got these colored lights behind me. Let's go ahead and I'll turn off this key light so you can see the lights behind me get brighter let's turn this up brighter one really nice thing about this is I'm not getting a whole lot of highlight bleed on my forehead that's a really common thing you're going to see with just about any other webcam with this webcam it just looks good <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the lights so I turned off the two key lights here turned off this light so I've just got my background lights and now I've turned off the colored lights behind me I'm in a completely I'm in a completely dark room right now the only light that you see is actually coming from my monitors but if you look at the image quality it's not great but it's way better than what I've seen from most webcams while the video does have noise there's still a lot of clarity let me go ahead and turn on my normal ceiling lights so my ceiling lights aren't super bright, but this is probably what your average room is going to be like. I don't have any natural light. It's too early in the morning for that. Real quick, I wanna switch from this webcam back to my mirrorless camera. And so this is my mirrorless camera, just so you can have a little comparison with the quality. There's absolutely a difference, but honestly, I'm really happy with the Obsbot Tiny 2. The image quality is just fantastic. Another thing this webcam does really well is autofocus. So let me go ahead and hold up this remote for the webcam. And you can see the clarity when I focus up close. You can get really close to the webcam and hold things really close and it will still focus. It does struggle once you get like within a couple inches, but if you're about four inches away, it will focus on whatever you're holding up. I'm really impressed with the focus on this webcam. That's really all of the features I want to go over with this webcam. It has a ton more features and I'll have another video that focuses more on the software and some of the features that you can use with this webcam. This webcam was sent to me so I can make this video and I've been using it for a few months now and I'm absolutely impressed with this webcam. It is very difficult to find a webcam that compares in quality with this webcam. That being said, there are a couple things that I wish would improve on this webcam. The main thing being is that there are a lot of settings you can adjust with the software, but in order for those settings to apply, you have to use the virtual camera that comes with the software. And in my experience, when using the virtual camera, things slow down quite a bit. I wish I could 
could make changes like turning HDR on or off without having to use the virtual camera. Other than that, I'm really quite impressed with everything about this webcam. It's nice and easy to mount. It has a great design. It's easy to adjust. It has good tracking. It's easy to use. It has a good mic as well. Everything about this webcam is rather impressive. It is definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.